if you want strong and long natural nails, quit the acrylics, quit the gel, quit the shellac. Happy day, my dude and dudettes. Uh, Jess is out running some errands right now and I'm just kind of left here to the house. I'm having some friends come over later. Um, Micah has just been put down to sleep, but I gotta show you her outfit because it's so stinking cute. Anyway, this morning I went and hit some golf balls with my friend Tony. It's his birthday yesterday, so we're celebrating today. And that was a lot of fun. It was a lot of good times catching up. It's always a good time hanging out with him. And then tonight, we're having like a miniature guys night. We're going out to dinner, and then we're gonna have the guys come over here and we're gonna just play games, and then who knows? If Tony has a whole night, we might even make it a late night and go ghost hunting. I don't know, but it's on the table. If he can find someone to watch his kids. Apple man, Apple man, does everything that an Apple man does. What's an Apple man do? I don't know, eats apples. Marks up the price of expensive electronics? Oh. <laughs> Daddy's got jokes, children. You're so weird. Okay, so a lot of you have been asking me, like a lot, a lot of you have been asking me, how do I get my nails to grow like they grow? I asked you guys on Instagram if you'd like to see nail care video, hair care, or skin care video, and across the board, like, it was pretty even, which surprised me, because I didn't think my skin was that great, um, especially lately, but I'll get to that one later, but today I'm gonna show you guys how I take care of my nails. Um, it's really very basic, very simple, but there's a few things I do that I think really helps them grow the way they grow. Number one, and I say this all the time, babe, can you bring my water over here for me? You do say that all the time. <laughs> I do say that all the time too, but water and nutrition, I feel like is really the most important thing you can do for anything involving your body. Um, good nutrition, getting enough protein, getting enough vitamins, minerals, all that stuff is Number one, um, genetics also play a role. I say that all the time too. I personally have always had pretty nice, strong nails. However, during the pregnancy and afterwards, they've been growing like mad. I don't, I do know what it is actually. <laughs> I was gonna say I don't know what it is, but I, I really have a good idea. Um, I've been taking these vitamins. I actually took the prenatals up till about a week ago. Um, now I'm taking the postnatals. I'll link these in the description below. Um, I just get mine on Amazon. They are like, I wanna say like $15, anywhere from 10 to $15, depending on, it, on if there's a sale or not. But it lasts for like two to three months, depending on, on that sale. Next, I don't know if many of you know this, you probably, if you've been watching for a long time, you'll notice that in some of the old vlogs, my nails are like bitten down to as far as they can go. Um, I have been a nail biter on and off my whole life. While I was pregnant, I decided, you know, my nails are really growing a lot right now. I should take advantage of this. So I cut out the nail biting. Um, when I decide to like stop biting my nails, which I know is a gross habit, whenever I get the urge to bite my nails, instead I take care of my nails. It seems like an easy switch. Now for me it really is, um, but habits are hard to break. I will be the first one to tell you that. One day I got myself uh, this little tool thing. It actually came in a kit. Um, if I can find this exact one, I'll link it below. If not, um, any just sort of metal good tool. This has lasted me years and years and years and years. Like As long as I don't lose this, this will last me forever. So whenever I got the urge to bite my nails, instead I would push back my cuticles, I would use just a super simple nail polish remover. I don't use acetone if I can help it. Um, I know acetone does work a lot better, but I feel like it's really drying. Um, so I, I, I just prefer the other kind. So I push back my cuticles. This thing has like a, a flat end and a pointy end. So I do that and I clean out the bottoms of my nails with this other side. And simply doing that, it kind of just eases the urge for me to bite my nails. Um, another thing I would do, and I know when your nails are so, so short, it really seems kind of pointless, but I would file them anyways. I would get rid of any sort of rough edge by using just a simple file and one of these blocks. Um, file the edges, 
smooth out the tops. Getting rid of all the rough edges, I think, made a huge difference for me because then it seemed like I didn't have anything to pick at. And I'd even paint my little stubby nails. Um, just giving them that little bit of care was enough for me to not want to bite them, just the littlest bit. So then whenever I got the urge again, I would just push back my cuticles clean them up a little bit and then they started growing and then once I started to see the growth I was motivated to not bite them anymore. So once I kicked the habit of biting them, um, getting them to grow this long and you guys I even like filed them down just the other day like they are growing like weeds. Even if you're not planning on getting pregnant, prenatal vitamins will most likely help your nails grow. So now I just do basic upkeep. Um, I don't do this so much anymore, but like I was saying before, pushing back your cuticles. If you look at your cuticles and you see that they're kind of like stuck on your nail, if that makes sense, they kind of like are holding your nail back from growing. So whenever I want my nails to grow longer, I will push back my cuticles as far as I can. Not until it hurts, of course, but I will push them back as often and as far back as I can um, and I feel like that just prevents them from holding your nail back from growing. I don't, I mean, I don't know if it's true, but I've had really great success with just pushing my cuticles back almost every day, maybe multiple times a day, and my nails will just seem to grow a lot faster. Oh, here's another tip. So even while I was pregnant, when my nails were growing really fast and really strong, I got shellac on my nails before we went on our baby moon. I wanted my nails to look nice for a long time. From what I was told, shellac doesn't ruin your nail beds nearly as much as acrylic or gel nails will. If you've never gotten your nails done, they will use like a file, a scraper, and really scrape down the top of your nail so that it, the acrylic or whatever you're getting will stick. And I loved my nails while on my baby moon, but when I got back and when my, my shellac polish started to peel off and come off, it destroyed my nails absolutely destroyed them. They started breaking, they started flaking, they just were so weak and honestly like it had to grow all the way back out before I felt like my nails were strong again. If you want strong and long natural nails, quit the acrylics, quit the gel, quit the shellac, stick with plain normal polish. I was absolutely shocked at how much even just the shellac destroyed my nails. One more quick tip, um, every once in a while, like this nail, you can't tell because it's covered in, in polish, it started breaking right at the, the growth point, I guess. It kind of just cracked and I was so tempted to just peel it right off, but I didn't. I just took some super glue, put it over top of my nail, underneath my nail, gave it like a, a good, what, what would you call it? Just a strengthener, just to glue it back together. I would take this thing and kind of smooth it out and then I'd put another coat on, just so that it doesn't break. And it's it, it cracked like, I wanna say a week and a half ago, and I've had no issues with it breaking or coming off. If you're trying to grow out your nails and you ever get a little crack, super glue really does help. You just have to apply it every so often. Um, it is water soluble, so it will wash off, but it really does the trick. I'm trying to think if there's anything else I do. It's all habit now, so I'm wondering if anything's just like I'm forgetting about. But really, I think that's it, guys. I hope you guys got something out of that. I will be doing a hair care and a skincare video down the road, hopefully not too much in the future. Um, if there's anything else you guys wanna see, let me know in the comments, but I think that kind of covers it as far as health and beauty. Unless you guys wanna see how I do my makeup. I mean, I don't really wear a ton of makeup, but if you guys wanna see, let me know. Got my afternoon decaf brewing. And I'm starting to not, not start a project, but I'm starting to think about a project that I have coming up. Micah is coming up on three months in about another week or two, like a week and a half, which means, oh my gosh, I can't believe this. Between three and four months, we're gonna transition her to the crib in her nursery, which means I'll get my desk back oh my gosh I haven't used it since she's been born simply because the bassinets right there the dog beds right there normally we have the dog bed over here and it slides under the bed in the day but since I have to get up and walk around the bassinet I can't have Stella's dog bed down there or I'll trip on it in the middle of the night so my desk has just been 
sad for the past three months. And I am really excited to get it back because that's where I would typically do my makeup. I feel like if I have my desk back, I'll be able to get into my morning routine a little bit easier. It'll just be a little bit smoother for me. But it's about time that I hang some photos up there. That one photo is up there simply because there was already a nail in the wall. Ow, she's, ow, ow, Micah, ow. Goodness. She was scratching my neck. Ow. I think it's time to clip her nails again. But that is my next project. Um, it's a mess, you guys. So I'm just starting to clean it up a little bit. Just starting to get my my brain going, seeing what I want to do with it. I did have some jewelry hangers. Uh, I think I want to put those back up again. But I definitely want to get some more frames on the wall, do a little photo collage. I think it'll be cute and fun, and, and my little vanity will be mine again. So I've been reading up on like sleep training and just transitioning them into the crib and kind of what a three month sleep schedule could look like. We haven't really put her in like a schedule per se. She kind of just, she sleeps when she wants, she eats when she wants. And that's just kind of what's worked for us so far. But I'm trying to make the transition to her sleeping in the crib as smooth as possible. I know that sleep sleep training and and all that can be really just heartbreaking. <laughs> So I'm trying to make it as easy as possible for everybody, me, Austin, and Micah. And I think one thing that will help us is trying to figure out what her schedule is or what, how we can kind of adjust her schedule. That way it, it just like works, works better for everyone. Now I did decide that when we transition her to the crib, I'm still going to get up during the night and feed her whenever she cries, um, at least for a little bit. I don't think I'll really start sleep training until about four months. Um, she's still waking up during the night to feed. I don't wanna necessarily cut her off from that right away. A lot of people have told me that if you wait till after four months, it makes it so much harder because really like between those three and four months, that's when they're, they're learning like really a new sleep routine, whether they're in their crib or not. We're gonna do our best. We're gonna see how it goes. Um, I haven't decided what method I'm gonna use yet. I don't know if I'm strong enough to do the cry it out, but at the same time, like I don't know that I want to even if even if I I can handle it, you know what I mean? I don't know. We'll just have to see how it goes. Every child is different, every parent is different. Um I'm just gonna do my research, I guess, and and figure out what I think is best. If you guys have any recommendations on what I should do up there, I took I took the last picture frame off just because it's not doing anything for me right there. I've got these to play with, but I'm starting to think it might just be better for me to buy something from the store or, I don't know. I just, I don't know if I love the idea of a gallery wall up there like I thought I would. Um, I tried playing around with placement of things and it just didn't seem to fit. So any suggestions, recommendations, what I should do, around my vanity, let me know, because I'm at a loss. I really don't know what I wanna do. Gosh, all of a sudden I was, I sat down on the floor over there next to her bouncer to read her a book, and I got about three pages in, and she like, out of nowhere, just started scream crying. I was like, oh my gosh, what's wrong? Then Austin was saying maybe she got like a Charlie horse cramp or something, I have no idea. That was weird, like nothing could have prompted her to do that that I can think of. Has anyone experienced that with their little babe? That was weird. Really kind of shook me up a bit. Today has felt extra long, and I know that it started out a lot of fun, but man, that was like emails and figuring things out for the future. Oh, so sorry, girly. I didn't mean to step on you, I'm sorry. But now it's time to go have fun with some friends, and unfortunately I gotta say goodbye to these two. I am so tired, you guys. I don't know what it is. I feel like I've been going to bed later than I should be, and I think it's really catching up with me. Aww. Mixed with her starting to wake up more often because I think she's going through a leap right now. I need to get to bed early tonight. Because we're going to start sleep training soon. I know. I was telling them about that earlier. Gosh. Oh. It's going to be tough few nights. All right, guys. Well, thank you so much for tuning in. We hope you enjoyed today. Um, if you guys haven't seen it yet, we posted a 
We did like couples 20 tag. questions, a couples tag the other day, and it is so good. Uh, you learn a lot about us and our history, so if you haven't checked that out, make sure you go check it out. A lot about you and your dating life prior to me. <laughs> There's some tea in there, okay? So uh, if you want to hear some of that tea. Um, tea? Yeah, tea is like drama. I don't know that. Well, stop being so tea. old then. That's a thing, there's some tea, some drama. Jesus, that's aging her. <laughs> All right guys, if you wanna go check it out, make sure you do, it's a good one, and uh, we'll see you next time. Bye friends. Bye.